Welcome to Trikanakon Skill. Your lifetime career partner. Specific gravity, void ratio, porosity, and bulk density of coarse and fine aggregates. Aim. To determine the specific gravity, void ratio, porosity, and bulk density of given coarse and fine aggregates. Apparatus. 10 kg capacity balance with weights. Cylindrical containers of 1 liter and 5 liter capacities. Measuring jar of 1000 ml capacity. Introduction. The specific gravity of an aggregate is generally required for calculations in connection with cement concrete design work, for determination of moisture content, and for the calculations of volume yield of concrete. The specific gravity also gives information on the quality and properties of aggregate. The specific gravity of an aggregate is considered to be a measure of strength of quality of the material. Stones having low specific gravity are generally weaker than those with higher specific gravity values. The bulk density of an aggregate is used for judging its quality by comparison with normal density for that type of aggregate. It is required for converting proportions by weight into proportions by volume and is used in calculating the percentage of voices in the aggregate. Specific gravity is the weight of aggregate relative to the weight of equal volume of water. Void ratio is the ratio of volume of voids to the volume of solids in an aggregate. Percentage of voids or porosity is the ratio of volume of voids to the total volume of a sample of an aggregate. Bulk density or unit weight is the weight of material per unit volume. Procedure Coarse aggregate Find the weight of the empty container W1 Take coarse aggregate in the container, up to approximately half of the container, and find out the weight, W2. Fill the container with water, up to the level of the coarse aggregates, so that all void space inside the aggregate is filled with water. Find its weight, W3. Fill the container with water, after emptying it from mix of coarse aggregate, and water. Water should be up to the mark up to which coarse aggregate is filled. Find its weight, W4. Repeat the same process for another trail, by taking the aggregate up to the full of the container, and by filling the water up to same point. Observations Note down the values obtained, during the test procedure, in the above table. Calculations Void ratio equals volume of voids, divided by volume of solids. W3 minus W1 by, W4 minus W1, minus of, W3 minus W2. Porosity, equals volume of voids, by total volume of aggregate, into 100. W3 minus W2 by W4 minus W1 into 100. Specific gravity equals W2 minus W1 by W4 minus W1 minus of W3 minus W2. Bulk density equals W2 minus W1 by W4 minus W1. Fine aggregate, void ratio, and porosity. Take 150 ml of dry sand, in clean measuring jar of 1000 ml capacity. Add a measured quantity of 100 ml clean water to the above sample, that is V2 equals 100 ml. Shake the jar thoroughly, till all air bubbles are expelled. Now note the readings, against the top surface of water in the jar. Void ratio, equals V1 plus V2 minus V3 divided by V3 minus V2.
porosity equals V1 plus V2 minus V3 by V1. Specific gravity of fine aggregates. Weigh the empty measuring jar of 1000 ml capacity equals W1. Take the weight of empty measuring jar with 150 ml of sand empty jar plus sand equals W2. Take the weight of empty measuring jar with 150 ml of sand and 100 ml of water empty jar plus sand plus water equals W3. Remove the mix of sand and water from bottle and fill it with water up to volume V3, then weigh it. Empty jar plus water equals W4. Specific gravity equals weight of solids by volume of solids. W2 minus W1 divided by W4 minus W1 minus of W3 minus W2.